morning everyone, Christy here, National Marketing Manager for Frontier Services. I hope you're all well. Um, today is very exciting as I got to have a chat with Reverend John Dim, our incredible bush chaplain, as we dove straight into World Prayer Day and I wanted to have a chat with him to see if he would like to deliver a beautiful message to you all and that he did. So tune in. I hope you enjoy his message and happy World Prayer Day. I doubt you would have heard of the Franciscans, have you? Yep. Okay. St. Francis of Assisi? Yep. Okay. I'm one of them. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So what I thought about was Franciscan spirituality, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And I thought we would talk about Francis's personal battle Mm. of where he was in the world. In other words, his place in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, back in the 12th century, when Francis had just come back from the wars and everything else, his world was marked by aggression and conflict. And nothing much has changed today. Mm. We've still got aggression and conflict. Mm -hmm. And out of there, struggles emerge two pillars. P-I-L-L-A-R-S, two pillars, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what the Franciscan order is founded on, these two pillars, two pillars. And the pillars are penance and the presence of God in all creation. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important one, the presence of God in all creation. There's a wonderful Psalm 121. And it's called, I will lift my eyes to the hills. And the two placements I've had with Frontier Services over the last 17 years has been one in South Australia, in Hawker, and the other one here in Tom Price. Mm. In Hawker, we had hills around us, mountains. Here in South Australia, Tom Price is 1,600 k's north of Perth. We are in a valley. We have hills around us here, Mount Remarkable, Mount Miserable, and then you go another 10 miles out on the highway, and you've got Karajini National Park, which has got beautiful gorges in it, stuff like that. You go the other way, you've got Hamsley Gorge, you've got just magnificent country. And then you go that way, north, and you've got flat land. Beautiful. So you've got everything here. Yep. Everything in creation that you could ask for. You've got wattle. You've got different plants. You've got green grass this time of the year because we've had over 300 mils of rain. Then the rest of the time, it's arid, dry desert land. So that's where you get your inspiration from and that's where the spirit comes from. Mm-hmm. And I've learned out in the camps where out on the mine sites where you work with the aboriginals and they take you out there because when before you can start digging for iron ore you've got to find out where different caves <laughs> you can't blow caves up let me put it that and um where artifacts are where burial grounds are and stuff like that and you can feel some of the land is very spiritual like where we went to bless Harry's truck on Sunday, you could feel the spirit. Mm. Here we are from Parabadu, 50 kilometers inland, in a windy hole, a mine behind you, all these big vehicles. The truck is 10 stories high. They're sending me in a video after what it was, so I'll send it on to you. And, um, when you gather out there the wind's blowing and all of a sudden when I said let us pray the wind stopped Mm. and the dust stopped that's how spiritual that land is yeah and that's what we're talking about for World Day of Peace Mm -hmm. is in all these centuries nothing has changed we still have aggression we still have wars we still have people dying of different diseases and stuff but we are comforted by one thing and Psalm 121 reads I lift my eyes to the mountains from where shall come my help my help comes from the Lord 
the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Look, he who keeps Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shade. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will guard you from evil. He will protect your life. And this is the most important part of that psalm. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forever. That's beautiful. That's what our life is all about. Mm. Is looking after each other. And I have a special blessing that I always give at the end of a service. And it goes like this. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ come down upon you. May you leave this place of worship walking together. Not in front, not behind, but together as one. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the thought for the day is, no matter how far we roam, God goes with us. <laughs>